or the the imagining of of this thing called genre is basically people um, or an industry uh, sort of limiting itself because it's selling a product to people and I mean the way that I look at my work and what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to do whatever the hell I want you know The name Angkor Wat is um, from a Cambodian Buddhist temple that I've always been interested in and I remember thinking that if I ever um, had my own project I'd love to call it Angkor Wat. Well, when I was a kid, until I was about 18, I was playing a lot of other people's music and that got really boring um, so I took about five years where I was making absolutely no music whatsoever and then one day uh, I discovered that my MacBook had an option for me to record something so I recorded these weird little tunes that I it's weird to think now that nobody was supposed to hear them so it's kind of flattering, but also very, very strange. Right now I'm just enjoying the process of writing and not worrying so much about the, uh, the money aspect involved in actually making a record. And I think that keeps the purity of it, maybe, not worrying so much about creating a product for people, you know? Because, like I say, my music wasn't necessarily written for other people to hear in the first place. What influences me would be a lot of art by people who are underdogs. I don't know why I identify particularly with those people, but I do, because maybe stories aren't told as frequently about those people. I would think of harmony and melody as a lot more important to me than lyrics. Um, I think... <laughs> what do I think? <laughs>